Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I, I know that this is a, an area of tremendous interest nationally. Uh, we know especially since the, um, the Netflix documentary came out, we, we're getting a lot of calls. Let me begin by saying, kind of walk you through a simple explanation of the legal issues here. There are two vehicles upon which people that have been convicted of a crime, well, there are many, but the two are a habeas and the other one's a resentencing. They can ask for a review of the, their conviction. Sir, I'm sorry, just the thumping on the... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Under a habe in, in this case, we've gotten petitions for the brothers on both. Under a habeas, basically what someone that was convicted is asking a review of new evidence that had been made available. That had that evidence been available to the court and the jury at the time of the trial, perhaps the outcome may have been different. We have not decided on the outcome. We are reviewing the information. But I think it's also important that we recognize that both men and women can be the victims of sexual assault. Conceded one way or the other. We're not saying that there was anything wrong with the original trial. We have been given evidence. We have been given a photocopy of a letter that allegedly was sent by one of the brothers to another family member talking about him being the victim of molestation. We've also got evidence that was provided by the defense, by his lawyers, that one of the members of the Menudo van alleged that he was molested by the father. None of this information has been confirmed. We are not, at this point, ready to say that we either believe or do not believe that information. But we're here to tell you that we have a moral and an ethical obligation to review what is being presented to us and make a determination based on the resentencing side, whether they deserve to be resentenced, even though they were clearly the murderers because they have been in prison for 35 years and they have paid back their dues to society, or whether a habeas is appropriate if there was evidence that was not presented to the court at that time and had that evidence been presented, perhaps a jury would have come to a different conclusion.